Welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime sports. Football is where we begin. Newly appointed Jeff F. General Secretary Dennis Chung says investors have become apathetic towards the Federation. Chung, who will replace Dalton Wint when his tenure begins on November 1, says employing a marketing specialist is a top agenda item as the Federation seeks to attract additional investment. He says rebuilding the Federation's reputation is one of the top priorities for him when he assumes office. In, in some of the things that we do. So we have to repair that. That's the first thing I think we need to do. Um, because unless you repair that, then you're really not going to attract the sort of sponsorship that you want and a part of that of doing that is building back the brand value of the JF. It has a lot of value but it's sort of latent now. You know, so how can we resuscitate that? And I think some significant moves are being made already. And Chung, who was speaking on Hits 92 FM's Sports Grill, gave an example of how the Federation has begun to address some of the issues with stakeholders. Much. Um, for the first time in a very long time, we played the per diem actually before the game was played, you know, to the players. So that's the sort of thing that we want to do. We're opening up the communication with the players. We're involving the players, but not just players, all stakeholders more. To the courts we go now. Kingston College basketball coach Winston Harvey says he doesn't foresee any other disciplinary issues within his team after their head coach, uh, former head coach Roger Marshall, was banned for two years uh, following an altercation in a game last week. KC were back in action earlier this week as they beat St. George's College uh, 62-34 at St. George's. KC were also without one of their players who has also been provisionally suspended pending a disciplinary hearing for his part in the Farca last week. Quite frankly, I mean, I mean, it's not a case, I said, there has been many cases of indiscipline. This is just one away case, and you know, so quite frankly, I am not too really worried because I don't, see the, I don't expect anything like this happening at that street. From the courts uh, to the pool where swimmers of all levels, locally and internationally, are expected to turn out at the second staging of the Jamaica Inn Foundation Open Water Swim for the Sanctuary event to be held on November 5 and 6. All funds raised from the event will enable the White River Fish Sanctuary to continue its mission to protect, restore and engage. And the event is sanctioned by the ACJ. Kyle Mays is the chairman of the organizing committee. On the international scene, so we have uh, on the second day, I mean, I'm, we refer to it as the pro events because it, they're a lot longer. Uh, obviously, 5K is, a, is a, def a decent swim, and that will and that will elevate us again to the um, to the international crowd. And we do have a few international uh, swimmers. So basically, now with all those events, we have really a, a challenge for for all skill levels and all levels of, of, um, of swimmers. Of course, age groups as well. And that's where we leave the waters uh, for now. And I am Jeremy Brown. Kells is back to you.